Good evening and thank you for joining me tonight for this new tutorial video. Last year I made a video about my simple makeup and many of you asked how I make my lip balm. So tonight I wanted to show you a few cosmetic products I like to make myself and that I usually use for everyday life or for some historical videos. So let's start with this very simple lip balm that I've been using for years now and using two ingredients that can easily be found olive oil and beeswax. Olive oil works fine for me and this is what I have in my kitchen right now but you could use oils that are known for their good skincare properties like avocado or sunflower oils and beeswax can be bought in organic stores or at your local beekeeper's shop here I have beeswax flakes I'm going to use one spoon of these beeswax flakes four spoons of olive oil one two three and four Now I'm going to melt these It will probably take a bit of time with that candle. Right, now it's perfectly melted. At this point you could also add a bit of shea butter and you would get a nice cream for your hands just like this or you could add some pigments to get a colored lip balm like beet juice concentrate that we will use later Usually I put this mixture in a tiny pot 
but this time I wanted to try something new and make a lipstick so I could put it in my pocket. I bought this empty tube but you could also use an old lipstick tube Here we go Now let it cool for about 30 minutes What we should get is this bar quite solid that will melt on your lips and protect them from the cold it will make them slightly glossy as well I also use it in the evening, just before going to bed, so it can nourish the skin during the night. And now, while this is cooling, let's take care of the next recipe, a homemade scrub to gently exfoliate the skin. And for that, I will use two to three ingredients. You may have seen this already in my hand massage video, but this time, in addition to sugar and honey, which is definitely a gem when it comes to skincare, I will add a few drops of lavender essential oil, which is very helpful to heal and soothe the skin, especially if you have an acne prone skin. First, let's grind the sugar a bit because I'm using what was left in a lump sugar box so there are some chunks
one spoon of sugar. Two spoons of honey. Two drops of lavender essential oil. One and two. Let's mix it. This is ready, but you'll have to use it quite quickly or keep it in the fridge for about one week. You can use it on the entire body, including hands and face, but be very gentle on your face. You don't need to press it, especially if you have a sensitive skin. I will use it later on my hands. Now let's see the balm. This will go straight in my coat's pocket. And now for the last recipe. Let's try some creamy blush to get these nice fresh cheeks. I already made a few versions for some role plays using the same recipe as lip balm but adding beet juice concentrate to give it a pink color. That worked very well, but I wanted to try something simpler that would not necessarily involve a saucepan or fire. So, for this recipe we're going to use shea butter and beet juice concentrate. You can also use zinc oxide, but this is optional, depending on the color you want. 
whistle first. One spoon of shea butter. And a few drops of beet juice concentrate, depending on how red you want it to be. This can be found in some stores or online, but you can also make it yourself by slowly simmering beet juice until you get a thick liquid. To be honest, I don't know how long you can keep this blush. A few weeks, I believe. Mm -hmm. This looks like blood. <laughs> Alright, a bit more. Now let's mix it. Beet juice was commonly used in the 17th and 18th century as makeup or the cheeks or the lips. It's a nice pink color. And this is when you could add zinc oxide if you want it to be paler. I like to keep it this way. going to add maybe one or two drops. Good. She put her is very good for the skin and you could eat it so this is a very healthy recipe all right and now let's put it in a tiny pot Make sure it has a lid or else it will get dark and dry.
And now let's see how it looks on the skin. lovely. I'm very happy with it. It may be slightly sticky because of the sugar contained in the juice, but not too bad. I hope you enjoyed this DIY recipes. Let me know if you plan to try some of them. And as always, I wish you a very good day.